Hi, and welcome to the Frog Pond School of Design, where we like to talk about things that might be of interest to the architect in you, okay? Today, something technical. Do you know what this is? It's round, it's plastic foamy, squishy sort of thing, and it's as long as you want it to be. It comes in various diameters. It's called backer rod, and this humble little rod is the hero in a successfully caulked joint. So what, why are joints caulked? Well, in masonry construction, all those joints that you see between the pieces of masonry are, for the most part, uh, mortar, which is pretty rigid. But buildings move. They grow, they shrink, they shift with the wind and whatever. And periodically, you need to have a movable joint so that you don't get cracks in the building. You'll notice these mostly as vertical uh, joints on a, uh, a brick wall, for instance. So the inclination is to take that joint and just squish a bunch of caulking in there, kind of like this, okay? Where the, the pinkish color there is the caulking. You just want to get a bunch of caulking in there and make sure it's filled. <clears throat> that presents a bit of a problem because the the caulk itself has to to grow and shrink and the more of it there is the more force it takes to stretch it and it might take more force to stretch it than it takes to break the bond between the caulk and the masonry now you have nothing okay enter the backer rod okay the yellowish area here is the backer rod. You shove it in the cotton joint <clears throat> tight enough so it stays where you want it to be and then you caulk. <clears throat> now you have you still have a good wide contact area at the top and the bottom and the back side of the caulking installation is concave. You tool the front so it's concave as well and you have a nice thin area in there that can more easily stretch and compact compress and not break the uh, the contact between the caulk and the masonry all this made possible by that little little piece of backer rod and most people who really aren't in the business the contractors and all know about this but your average homeowner whatever who has cause to uh, to caulk a joint now and then they go back to the old make sure you get plenty of caulk in there and some ways do themselves more harm than good so remember the backer rot thanks for joining us today on the frog pond school of design i look forward to seeing you hanging around the pond again real soon